Hey, Venom kind of 13 here. Uh, just wanted to show you a couple of my latest acquisitions. Um, my first one. This is uh, my new Marlin uh, Model 336. Uh, this is a lever action. Uh, we've uh, just to let you know, all these have been uh, safety checked. They are all unloaded. So uh, this is a 3030 caliber uh, lever action. It came with a scope. I got it used. Got a pretty good price on it. And to show you what 3030 would be, in case you're not familiar, which that would be this. So I'm looking forward to shooting this. This is uh, I've never owned a uh, large caliber uh, centerfire rifle before, um, so this was my first, and I got that uh, the other day, about two weeks ago. Haven't had a chance to shoot it yet. Um, looking into joining a uh, local gun range so I can do that, but uh, that's one of my new ones, and. same time they also have this one also used and on sale so I picked this one up at two this is a Remington model 742 and this one is chambered in a 30-06 so that shoots the uh, same as the uh, M1 so that's a big boy right there so comparing that to the 30-30 here and this is the 30-06 so the caliber, the diameter is pretty much the same, but you can see the case is different. So, um, so that's that. This one actually happens to be uh, semi-automatic. Uh, comes with the clip. Not even sure how many that holds yet. Uh, again, I haven't had a chance to shoot this one yet either. Uh, I figure about maybe three, four tops will go in there, probably three. So I'm looking forward to shooting that again. I've never shot that before either. Never shot a rifle this big before, so looking forward to that. And then and this is the one I really, in, I ordered this one. This is the one I really intended to buy. Uh, this one is a brand new. Uh, Savage uh, Trophy Hunter, and this one is calibered in 308. So that's kind of right in there between these two. So we have a 30 out 6, 308, and 3030. So just got this. I haven't shot this one yet either. Really looking forward to doing that. Uh, came with a Nikon scope, it's a package deal. Uh, really looks nice comes with an Accu trigger on it. So we're looking forward to getting a chance to shoot that too. So get that. And then this is my Ruger 1022. This one's also empty. I've done a couple modifications on this. Uh, this is a aftermarket magazine release. Just like that, drops right out on the floor if you're not careful. So after you're done shooting, bam, it comes right out. Uh, so I've done that model in this. I've also replaced the recoil buffer in the original uh, 1022. That's metal. Uh, I've replaced it with this one from Volkortsen. Uh, so this is a polymer uh, type product and that fits in the end of the, uh, the bolt so as the bolt comes back uh, it, the met, instead of metal on metal uh, it's now got this plastic so it doesn't make that noise uh, another thing I've done with this one is I've put in the uh, also from Volkortsen uh, the uh, improved extractor has been put into this and also uh, the replacement plate that allows you to uh, release the bolt just by doing that. Uh, on the original one, the way it comes, 
you have to use this button uh, once it's like that and then you have to fiddle with it again to get it to shut uh, but with this with the mod in the um, from Volcorts and you can put a mod in where you can just release it like that so uh, I've had this for years uh, it's a lot of fun so if you're looking for a, a fun rifle to get started a Ruger 1022 you can't miss really nice And last but not least, my latest latest acquisition. This is my brand new, also uh, empty and already safety checked. Uh, my brand new Daniel Defense DDM4 V5. Uh, haven't had a chance to shoot this. I've only had it for a couple days. Uh, so. Really, definitely looking to getting forward. To, looking forward to shooting this. Uh, did not come with sights. Um, they had the uh, aim uh, aim point uh, patrol rifle optic was on sale when I got it, so I got that for it, uh, and that's pretty cool. Um, so as of yet, I'm looking into sights. Uh, I will probably go with uh, full de sights. I'll probably try to get them to co-witness. Um, so that's my latest. Daniel Defense uh, M4V5. Uh, this one is a mid length, which is what I wanted. I did want a mid length, um, so I got uh, this one. Either the M4 or the M5, and the, I mean the V4 or the V5, and they had the uh, V5 in stock, so I went with that. So we're looking forward to doing some uh, shooting videos with the rifles, uh, the center. Uh, the hunting rifles and also with uh, this uh, chance to check out the aim point so we're really looking forward to that my son's really looking forward to that as well so uh, he's definitely excited about that so um, love that sound huh so we're looking forward to that and I did uh, bore sight all these actually today and I did that with oh. I stopped by Dick's today and I got this laser bore sighter so um, it comes with these little plastic adapters that screw into the end uh, for different chamberings and then I uh, used this uh, vise to hold the hold the guns. I shot at the whole length of the house in the basement. So you're putting the bore sighter uh, directly into the bore carefully, and it has one of those plastic adapters on the end there, depending on which rifle you're doing to hold it steady. And then when you turn it on, the, the laser shoots all the way to the other end of the the basement. And then you uh, look through your scope, and of course, so your bore sighting, and then you t use the windage and elevation to bring the reticle, the reticle, and the scope, so that it's directly on the dot. And then you're bore sighted, and that'll put you on uh, on your target pretty close, uh, close enough to get on your target on paper at about 100 yards or so. And then you make the adjustments after a test shot. You make a little adjustment, uh, and that's the beginning of bore sighting. So I've never um, sighted in a rifle before, but that's the first step. So I did went ahead and did that with this uh, bore sight. Oh, it's from Bushnell. I think it was about 40 bucks. Uh, and again, it comes with all the adapters uh, for it. Uh, it does. You can even do shotgun. All the different calibers, so all the way down to the 22 and the the AR-15, the 223, used the same adapter, and then I the uh, of course the 30 out six, the 308, and the 3030 also all use the same adapter because they're basically the same diameter, um, so I didn't have to change it, uh, but it worked real well. So I just shot at the entire length of the uh, inside of the basement, uh, so it was dark, so I could see the the red dot.
uh, real easily. And then I just used a screwdriver and adjusted the windage and elevation and brought the, the uh, crosshairs of the scope onto the red dot. So I'm ready to go to the range. I just need to uh, get a chance to do that. So I'm looking forward to that. Hopefully we'll be able to shoot some video for that. Uh, so until next time, this is uh, Vamcana13 and Brendan. Have a good evening.